Hello everyone and welcome back to more Smash. This is going to be the last Smash in this particular session and once again I'm fighting uh, Dynamite 12. Uh, I'm playing my main Zelda versus his Falco. Uh, I don't remember what his main was, but I, I know he probably wasn't using the main if he wanted to. But, uh, back to Zelda play. Uh, I think I've said this already, but when, uh, whenever I play Zelda against him, or I don't know if it's all the time when I play Zelda against him, uh, I tend to either win because he has no idea how Zelda plays, or once he already knows how Zelda plays, just, just destroys me. Because Zelda isn't that, that good. Although just later today, being the 17th of August, that's something about Super Smash Flash and how Zelda's actually decent in it. And I don't know what Zelda's like there because I don't play it, and I don't play it because I don't want to. But, hey, it's kind of you know, cool to have, you know, People actually know what they're doing. Big, uh, make character worry not how good they are. You know, just saying. But uh, when you have a lot of people, like let's say the people who make I don't know Smash Bros. Crusade or Project M or uh, otherwise just mod uh, Smash games, or like I said, people who just make create just create uh, Smash like games. Like what was it called, Rivals of Ether? Or, like that new thing that uh, the people trying to call what's it called brawl out? I think I don't remember the name of it exactly, but just want to recreate Smash Bros. But with like be it compet competitively viable if using reg regardless of what character uh, the player is using, which is actually kind of nice because uh, let's see, kind of got a cool variety. I mean, granted, uh, people in general tend to favor. A character who hits, who hits and attacks fast, regardless of what game it is, with like specific exceptions. Uh, just like with, uh, when we think, when we think about it with Smash Brothers, like a lot of the uh, best characters either hit really hard and they're easy to play, hit really fast, and regardless, regardless of how fast they are, usually the, fa the fast characters aren't exactly easy to play. But usually, it hits hard, it hits hard and hard, easy to play with Cloud, or just hits really hard in general, like let's say Ryu, or. Uh, you know, just make sure your opponent can't hit you. So, I guess in a lot of, the, I don't know, sorry, a lot of competitive games, but there's a lot of a uh, tendency. Like, if you want to get good, you got to make sure your opponent doesn't hit you at all. So, in other words, no, like, um, not getting hit is the best defense, supposedly. I mean, granted, none of the points to every game, like except for MMOs, you kind of want to have your tank around, and even in, in stuff like, uh, OG, like the Final Fantasy, like. You gotta have your tank, cause you're not gonna have you're not always gonna have a, a character that won't get hit. Uh, like for example, you break with default, the uh, ninja class has as a as a move which uh, you you don't get hit for one turn. But that's not, that's not the case. The case is that um, in a lot of games like this, especially like, if you don't get hit, then you're pretty better than anyone else. Or or it's a way that um, you don't get uh, you don't get hit. So, like, I guess it's Fire Emblem Heroes. Like uh, the best character, like uh, the best character in the game, hit really, really hard. And most, but not all of them, have a speed stat that either doesn't matter, or uh, it's actually kind of matters. If it, if it does matter, it matters a lot. If it doesn't matter, it's mostly because you're playing Effie or playing Reinhardt. But uh, for everyone else, like I've ever seen, like a lot of. Uh, Fire Heroes tier list, and they all just say, "Oh, if you don't have a, you don't have like 35, 35 attack and 35 speed, you're pretty much worthless. Or you need to have a specific niche in order for you to be even decent, or you're just outclassed." But uh, in Smash, it's not always the case. Like some really fast characters aren't good because they they can't hit you very well, or in some really high attack characters, you know, have trouble hitting anything because they're not that fast. That sort of thing. Uh. For me, I'm the, I'm the kind of person who just wants to have the best defense, or like I can I can take a hit, no, pro uh, take a hit like uh, well any problems. Like if I were to be a character in Smash, so to say, then I'll probably be like a high defensive character who has uh, very little lockback from anything, or even have a, like a range grab regardless of where I am. I don't know. If I have like a psychic powers kind of thing, it'd be kind of cool to have like a way I could have to just grab all in the air. But that's the point. The point is that. Hey, if I want to be a character in a game, I want to have like um, pretty much free tanking, uh, free tanking, like not having to worry about getting one hit KO'd or not worrying about uh, 
you know, stun lock being stun locked death. That sort of thing. Like, um it, Oh, now that I think about it, it might be really ridiculous if uh I'll probably probably never happen. Imagine if like Smash has this, has this sort of combo breaker, like in Killer Instinct. Where it is it is possible to uh break an opponent's combo. Uh so that when when you get hit in the being being in a combo, uh you can hit back. Uh that's, like, that's, that's a kind of uh, ideal to have. Like if I were to, if I were like a character, it's, it's, it's Smash Brothers. It would have to be so that if I get like uh, three three plus hit combo, then I can hit back freely, uh, regardless of what my opponent does, regardless of where I am the stage. However, if I do get like I don't know one shotted by something somehow, then yeah, sure. But with the cost of not moving that fast. But then again, still, uh, still. Not moving that fast, but also still have range grabs, like a lot of range moves, but not not necessarily needing to move at all. That sort of thing. So if I was Smash, I'd probably be something like that. Uh, like a character with um, very little movement, but wakes up for it and, you know, being tanky, not getting hit a lot, have like range grabs so I can like force the whole not getting hit thing. I guess that would that, be, that'd be, that'd be kind of me. I don't know, uh, what do you guys want to... If you were a Smash character, like what kind of design would you, what kind of uh, mechanics wise, what kind of character would you like to be? Uh, I'm not gonna make a whole video about what if I was in Smash Brothers just yet. If you guys want to be, want to uh, watch or hear a video of me uh, detail what kind of character I would want to be if I was in Smash Brothers, uh, just go ahead and comment or something, because uh, that would be an interesting video for me to make. Like, hey, if I, I mean, I already made a video of what if I was in, it was in Fire Emblem. Granted, I probably wouldn't need some, like, more work. Uh, and I think what, 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 what was in Record Keeper specifically, but not, like, in Final Fantasy in general. But, uh, hey, we got a cool figure of what it was in Smash Brothers. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's just uh, uh, an idea I've had. But anyway, uh, enough with that. Enough with, like, uh, talking smack about tears in general, and, like, what people perceive as a good character or not. Let's, uh, talk about the, the uh, Stuff we have here. Uh, I'm playing Yoshi here because I've, you saw like the like, pre previous um, video with Yoshi in it. That was pretty dang good. Another thing is like, facing against a cloud, and well, you know how cloud is. He's like basically the wind button, the ca like w the wind button, the character, where he's super, where he's super strong and he's super easy to play. Uh, I think it's kind of funny. Um, because cloud is kind of like that. Cloud is like a very simple character to understand. Uh, even in like other games, for example, in uh, Dissidia, Cloud is that kind of in it. Uh, you can kind of understand. He just hits hard. Like if, if you can get him in his range, he hits hard. He has a lot of um, range moves, close close quarters moves. Uh, his this stick is that he, he hits you and he hits you pretty hard. That's his, that's just his thing. And Record Keeper, that's his thing. His thing is he hits you really really hard, and he tends to have um. Either the first or the most broken of uh, certain soul break abilities. Like, uh, from right, uh, Cloud has the first like overstrike ability, which just hasn't hit hard, but isn't exactly that good nowadays because it's the first. Uh, then again, overstrikes in general are hit or miss. And then, and then um, what people say his ultra soul break in Record Keeper is one of the most broken things in the entire game, in which uh, after you after you use it, then. Um, if, if you could break the damage limit normally, then you could break the damage limit normally for for, for a short time, which is ridiculous. Uh, and here in Smash, he just hits really hard. So he just hits really hard, and there's a lot of fast moves. Of course, there's a lot of drawbacks to him, of course, because he can't have a perfect character. Uh, in which he's not that fast. I mean, he's not that fast, and uh, he, has, he just has some some things that just won't will work out very, very well, I guess. But, eh, it depends on the person, really. But, anyway, now I'm playing Peach against his Sheik. Uh, I don't know why I decided to play Peach here, but mostly because I just feel like playing Peach. I don't remember if this is the last match we had. I think I was going, I think after that I was like, need to be somewhere or busy. I don't remember. But I think this is the last match we, uh, we had. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to play Peach. Because, why not? I mean, I already played my main, so I want to uh, handle with Peach. Uh... I was gonna, okay. I wanted to talk about this uh, this uh, completely separate thing about Super Mario 3D World, but Peach is not involved in it, so I'm not gonna talk about it. But 
anyway, uh, let's go to the match here. Uh, I got I got the first uh, first KO, and well, I'm playing against the Sheik player. You know how Sheik is. Uh, wants to like get in there, uh, go real quickly, and wants to make sure you don't hit a thing. How we're on Peach, where I have a lot, where I have a lot of floatiness, and uh, I have some 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 really, some really decent uh, power moves. You would think that Peach would not have pretty good kill power, but I think Peach like Peach has a lot of moves. That, not a lot of moves, but yes, some moves that have pretty decent kill power. Like her forward smash with pretty decent kill power. She has a counter with a toad. She has a, her up her up, her up, her up smash and up tail, which is pretty decent. Uh, she has uh, her down air. I, I don't use her downer that much. I should probably use her downer a bit more because her downer I really like a lot. Uh, her forward airs are ridiculously powerful, like you wouldn't think it is, but it is. It just throws her crown, which is kind of spiky. Uh, her parasol can hit, even though if you miss, you miss hard. Uh, and she has pretty good air gain, gain, sort of ground gain. She can move. She can uh, has movement with her side B. You know the one. But uh, oh, I think because solid, solid stuff. And um. I think you'll see this here, but her down B can also produce, let's say, the bombs. And I think I did produce one uh, in this match. Uh, I don't remember if I did, or maybe I did. I missed missed it while well, narrating this. But I do miss, so I don't even realize it's there. But until it's there, if I knew, uh, I would have plucked a, a, a bomb. Would have saved it for later, <laughs> or he saved it for till a reasonable time. Uh, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, so Peach is, is, a, is a pretty uh, versatile, so to say. I mean, she has projectiles. She has um, air game. She has a bit of ground game. She can uh, movement options are pretty good. Uh, all in all, Peach is uh, pretty, pretty, pretty solid. Not the best character in the game, but then again, what is? Oh, well, maybe like Bayonetta, but uh, Bayonetta's hard to play though. So, uh, so some people say Bayonetta's easy to play, but when I play Bayonetta, well, I don't get it. Uh, it's like, oh, you just. So, Payne is really more of a timing character than anything else. But, uh, that's the point. Whatever. Anyway, let's do the Final Smash! Oh, man. The, first, the thing about Peach's uh, Final Smash actually does, um, uh, really helpful with my my particular style of gameplay. Uh, because it gives me enough time to think about what to do. Because I'm not exactly. I don't really think really quickly. So once I think really quickly, I fail really hard. I mean, that's, that's why I don't play competitive Smash Brothers. I don't think very fast. At least, like, when I, uh, and Peach with the Final Smash really does, uh, help me quite a bit. Uh, you know, with her style, because it, it puts, puts the opponent to sleep, and because it puts the opponent to sleep, it gives me enough time to figure out what options I do now. Uh, and this will be brought up a bit, a bit later, but, uh, you get the idea. So, uh, as you see, we're nearing the end parts of, uh, this match section. Uh, there isn't really isn't much for me to say, but hey, at least uh, yeah, we know like a lot of people like have specific play styles that are, that are probably much better overall or that sort of thing. But hey, a game's a game, and if some people prefer certain parts of competitive and competitive uh, doesn't mind just going all out, is the best option, or going defensive like uh, X Death and Decidia, or or whatever. Or if it's going fast or going if be going strong is the best option. Or just combo game. Whatever. It really depends on the game. And it can't really fault that much of the game for. But still, it's gonna have a huge roster at least balance it out balance it out, right? I mean you can't just have like only bad characters here. Anyway, we're moving we're finishing off with the final smash. So I'm just gonna leave there because I know about the whole uh, thing here and then just whack him the golf club. I didn't need to eat the peaches, I just, just chose to, because she's high percentages. So anyway, that is all for this Smash session. See you guys later for either some more Smash or some other game.